Scoop Eats here at Philippe's, the original in downtown Los Angeles. I'm Kevin Noon here with Tony Gerdeman. Tom Moore is manning the camera. I finally got my training wheels taken off. I'm allowed to be the driving force here on the Scoop Eats, and we're going to get some French dip sandwiches. I'm looking forward to it. This is something you've been talking about. This is this is we're doing this for you. This is the only thing we're ever going to do for you. So it better be worth our while, or else it's never happening again. Is that correct, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. I am taking a tremendous leap of faith here. I said somewhat recently on a show that French dip subs were the most overrated food in the world because the bread is so soggy and it just it you're making your you're making the food worse because of the way you're serving it. So Kevin swears that this place is going to change my mind. So I guess I guess we'll find out if Kevin is just turning yet another city into a house of lies. Well, I'm I'm good at that and. Philippe's has been around forever. This is not the original location. 20 years in or so they moved, but this is the birthplace of the French dip sandwich. This is not the one you get at Perkins. This is not the one that you get at uh, the airport. This is the original. Philippe's, the original. Let's go. So we have our food now. Uh, it was about a 15 minute wait. Uh, as you can see here, I went with two sandwiches because I have no shame. I went with the beef and the pastrami. I went one double dip, I went one wet, got the potato salad, got the coke. I wanted to get a pickle, but you know, I'm trying to stay in a budget here. So, uh, Tony on the other side, what did you get, Tone? Uh, I got a beef double dip with cheddar, pork double dip with cheddar. I got to try the, the potato salad. And because there are no free refills, I got a couple of lemonades. Tom, what about you? So I, uh, I went, I, there was, conflicting advice at the beginning that the Kevin suggested getting the sandwiches wet the guy the media, media shuttle guy said double dip I also want to try the spicy mustard and I don't want to overwhelm the bread with too many liquids so I went single dip with my spicy pastrami with my New York pastrami single dip for that because then I can put some spicy mustard on that and then double dip for just the plain beef sandwich so I want to get try a couple different things so the, uh, we'll see how this goes Let's let, let's let Kevin try his first. Oh, there's that mustard. That's good. It's just how I remember. Tony, you're up. Uh, let's try some pork here. I'm gonna pull this apart. And again, I got some cheddar on here. I can see how it goes. Double dip as well. Cheese is good. Beef is good. Um, maybe I should have tried some spicy mustard. I'm not a fan of mustard per se, but but they were out of spicy ketchup. But still good. They did have an article that I pointed out on the way in. It was from 1982, but apparently still holds true. They do not have ketchup on the premises here. It was, I, I read it, I audibly gasped, and I called for Tony, and I said, Tony, look at this. That's why I always travel with him. He's got a holster, you can't see it, it's under the table, it's right on his head. Like gas station clerks with the crank out chains? Yeah. All right, so ketchup I've got, packets. I'm trying the, I'm trying the pastrami with the spicy mustard. I'm interested to see this, how this goes. That's good. I keep waiting for the spicy mustard to kick in. I didn't want to say, well, this isn't very spicy, and then go, oh, no, but no, it's, it's really, it's not too spicy. I, I was, it was it was sold as, like, real horseradishy. It's good. It's not, it's, it gives it a little kick, but not, not too much. I'm interested to try this potato salad because it is not, for, I prefer mustard potato salad. I'll eat any kind of potato salad except for German potato salad. This does not have big pieces of potato. Mm. It's like small pieces. It almost looks like coleslaw. I'm I'm wondering what California potato salad is like. So uh, mm. that was that was several different good. expressions. No, it was good. Some dill in there. It's almost like it's, it's shredded potatoes. Like they took the yeah. hash browns. Yeah. Like no 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 no. We're gonna make a salad out of it. Pretty good. I like it. Um. 
Look how Amish. You've got California people to worry about with this potato salad. That's all I, I'm gonna say. I don't think they watch a lot of online videos, but maybe maybe we can pass it along. You're going down, Yoders. Well, Tony, we've had our meal here at Philippe's. I already knew that I was going to like it. Right. What were your thoughts? I'm a lot like Tom. I do not believe in the French dip. I've seen it on TV and it's like, what are you doing? It's, it's gonna be all sticky and messy. Shockingly, these people know what they're doing. <laughs> there, it, it was not messy, it was not sticky, it was not like, you know, gooey or gummy. It was just right. I got a double dip and I thought it was fantastic. I got pork, I got beef as you guys saw. It, it was, um, it, it, it was not the ordeal that I had been processing in my mind for months on end. So uh, yeah, I'm, I am a dip converter, conversion at this point, I think. Yeah, I, I agree, Tony's a dip. I, I I was surprised too, I was pleasantly surprised. It was, I, I had the same texture concerns as I mentioned on the way in, but it was it was very good. As I said inside, I, I put the spicy mustard on, I'm like, that wasn't that spicy. So I doubled up on the spicy mustard and it was like, ah, aha, uh -huh. and, now, and now we've arrived. It was quite good, that was, again, it was not like, hot where you don't get the flavor it was just like ah, oh, a little more zip that was good yeah i'm i'm sold i will anytime i'm again i'm not i'm not a full french dip convert but if i was here yeah if i was in la i would come back here yeah i'm not gonna order it at uh, perkins of course i'm gonna get the chicken fried steak which is the staple but yeah, yeah, there's no problem with this. Um, I got, and there's there's also probably no need to get two sandwiches like we did. I just wanted to, we all just wanted to taste different things. Because my two sandwiches, potato salad, and two lemonades, because you can't get free refills, there's long lines, you just, you gotta plan ahead. Came to $26.50, threw, uh, threw down $30 and said, keep it. And, because that's how I roll. But, yeah, I, it, Again, but it would have been much cheaper with just the, the one sandwich, which is all you really need. Well, once again, I proved going back to my, my old neighborhood, I know what's right. Proven once again that if these two ever let me talk, I know what's right. But, you know, I was very happy with it. Scoop Eats, I'm, I'm thrilled for the opportunity to come here to Philippe's The Original. I told Tom that I would mention The Original four or five more times in this before we were done with it. But, you know, we've had a nice little food tour of the city of Los Angeles. We were, we're not done. We're not done, we've got one more place in mind that we may be able to sneak in under the wire. But for now, I'm Kevin Noon with Tony Gerdeman, Tom Moore signing off from Philippe's The Original, home of the French dip for Scoop Eats.